Welcome to the lecture number 58. In this section, I will tell about full factorial design using Minitab that how to use Minitab for full factorial design. So, the content is full factorial design, there is some example that I will do in the Minitab. So, my case is that the yield of a chemical process depends on basically two factor the pressure and the temperature. So, the data set we have taken from the book that sir has uh, given uh, you in various lecture that is uh, design and analysis of experiment Montgomery the data set which we have taken from the chapter number 5. So, this is the temperature there are three level 150, 160, 170 and for pressure there are also two level 200, 215, 230 and rest of all are the L rate of the of this chemical process. So, now I am going to the mini tab first we have to what we have to do we have to get the data in excel so, this is the temperature and this is the pressure temperature is there is three level 150, 160, 170 in pressure 200, 215, 230. So, in mini tab what we have to do first we have to go to the stat section then in stat there is DOE from DOE we will go to the factorial and here it is create factorial design. So, now we can see that there is two level factorial design types of design we have to choose. So, there is two level factorial design, two level factorial specify generators, but in this example we are going through the full factorial design. So, we will take general full factorial design and it is also saying that how many factors are there. So, in this section our factors are 2 A and B temperature and pressure. So, then display available design this is ok, then go to the design it is saying that factor is A that is pressure and factor is B that is temperature. So, we have to give that what are the number of levels for pressure there is there are three levels. So, we will put it three actually this is very small. So, we will go to the three and also for B we will put three. So, I am trying to make it larger, but there is no option. So, this is this is uh, so just I am uh, telling you that for factor A number of levels are 3, for factor B the factor A is representing temperature, factor B is representing pressure. So, also the number of levels are 3 and 3, and here it is uh, asking that number of replicates. So, in our data number of replicates are 2 this is 90.4 and 90.2. So, number of replicates are 2. So, here we will put it 2 number of replicates then ok then ok. So, now the structure of the data that we have to import in mini tab that is ready. So, after that we have to go again to the stat then DOE, then we have to go to the display design. In display design it is saying that we have to give the data in a standard order that standard. So, we will choose the standard order for design then we will go to the ok. So, now our data set is ready. So, also we have option that in stat in DOE factorial create factorial design in factor we can change our level that we in the example we know that for temperature our level are 150, 160, 170 and for pressure our levels are 200, 215 and 230. So, for A if we choose A is representing pressure then 200, 215 and 230. 
so it will be 200 then 215 and then 230 and if B is representing temperature so the level will be 150, 160, 170 so it will be 150 then 160 and 170 then we will go for ok so now our actual data set is ready that a are the level wise so again we have to standard we have to standardize our order so we will go to the doe and then display design and then select standard order for design okay so our data set is now ready now we have to put the yield rate here y e i l d yield rate so in our case so this is our yield rate if we copy all the value so now our yield rate is ready so yield rate is giving that pressure is 200 and temperature is 150 then yield rate will be 90.4 again pressure is 200 and temperature is 160 then it will be 90.1 in that manner we have organized all the data so we will just copy from the excel and putting it in the mini tab so now our data set is full ready for analyzing in mini tab so next we will go to the stat doe factorial analyze factorial design here it is asking what are the response so yield rate is the response then we will go to the terms that in factorial design what the terms we want that is a that then b then a b all the things we want then in option there is a 95 percent confidence interval and also the two sided then in graph we will take four in one so that we can take all the graph here then we will go to the ok so we will get these are the graphs normal probability plot residual versus fitted order frequency versus residual residual versus observation order and the result we have got so we are extending it so these are the result that this this is the analysis ANOVA table for this experiment so this is actually very, very small so this for the model the degree of freedom is 8 and adjusted SS is given uh, for a we want from a that uh, for a that is uh, temperature the degree of freedom is 2 the level is 3 that is why degree of freedom is 2 its s square is there there then the m square is there then from there we will get the f value also b all the things are there then for a b degree of freedom s square m square and f value are there also we will get the error ms value and accordingly we will calculate all the f value so we can tell that whether the factor a is affecting the yield rate b is affecting the yield rate or their interaction is affecting the yield rate or not then also all the others value that uh, term constant a effect all the things we a b effect and also we will go and get the regression equation from mini tab so this is full factorial design now also we know that in factorial design i am directly going to the hmm, when the when there are 
two level full factorial design. Suppose uh, the last example we have seen there are three level, but in 2 to the power k design there is two level. This example is basically 2 to the power 4 design that for a there is plus minus 1 and plus 1 for b there is also minus 1 and plus 1 and also this data we have taken this example actually we have taken from the Douglas and Montgomery design analysis of experiment book. So, the, there are three replicates 1, 2 and 3 and the total 28 plus 25 plus 27 that is 80. So, in this manner we will design our data set like this that we will put a minus 1 plus 1 then minus 1 plus 1 for b minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and then we will copy all the value here and we will paste it observation. Then again the same thing we will do for this the same thing we will do for this. So, in mini tab opening new project in mini tab. Hmm. So, now again I am going to stat then DOE then factorial then create factorial design. So, here we are basically talking about two level factorial design. So, the first option we will tick the two level factorial design here also number of factors are two then we am going to design. In design it is saying that number of replicates for corner point, how many replicates we have? So, we have here three replicates then ok. So, now our structure of the importing data in mini tab is ready. Now, again we will go to the stat then DOE then display design and we will tick standard order for design then ok. So, now our data set is ready and the we have to just copy the observation value from excel and put it in the mini tab. So, now our full data set is ready we will just go to the stat DOE factorial and analyze factorial. So, here it is asking out the response the observations are the response. So, we will select then going to term it is also giving a b and a b ok then in covariance there is nothing in option there is 95 percent confidence interval and two sided in step wise it is ok then graph we will again 4 in 1 and also we will get the normal plot we do not want paratopolar plot then ok. We also get all the result the model summary ANOVA table regression equation the same manner according to your requirement you can change and you can tick accordingly we will go to the ok. So, we will get the residual plot of the observation this is the normal probability plot and also we will get the ANOVA table. So, this is the ANOVA table. So, in ANOVA table it is also saying that uh, for A what are the S square value, for B what are the S square value, for A B that is interaction what is the S square value and their degree of freedom value and also from there we can calculate the M A square value and we can calculate also the F value and from f value we can give that whether a is affecting the mean rate or b is affecting the which factor are mostly affecting the mean rate or not. So, now here we can see that there is one model. So, model is basically talking about all the things that there will be a there will be b there will be a b. So, if we add 
the s square value of a plus s square value of b and plus s square value of a b then we will get this s square value of model. Also there are there is one uh, another one is linear. So, if we linear means only the factor a and b we, we have to ignore the a b. So, if we add the s square value of a and s square value of b then we will get the s square value of linear. So, in the same manner we will get all the value and their degree of freedom. So, now we have, we have also got the regression equation. So, in this way we can uh, see that how Minitab is very useful and very powerful uh, software for analyzing various problem of design and analysis of exp experiment. So, in the next class uh, we will again analyze the fractional factorial design and also the response surface methodology in Minitab and how to use Minitab in that in that case. So, thank you.